Welcome back to Control. Before we go back to main quest stuff, let's go do the jukebox quest. Uh, it's over that way, but also, I don't think we've been in here? Have we? No. America Overnight Results. The America Overnight program has operated successfully for over years. Originally designed to assist in providing disinformation to the naturally skeptical population of America, it has additionally led to the discovery of numerous altered world events and altered materials by allowing civilians to call in and report their experiences with the paranatural. In fact, America Overnight alerted the Bureau of and in its first year of operation alone. In this report, the investigation sector has cataloged and categorized each episode of America Overnight that has resulted in a successful Bureau investigation in order to help Altered World Event Occurrence Analysis. The more something results of Night Springs have also been cataloged in a separate report. Yeah, America Overnight. I remember there was a radio. There was like some late night radio station that was playing in, in Alan Wake where you'd hear lots of stories about weird experiences. Was that America Overnight? So if I remember what Arish said correctly... Using this thing is supposed to teleport you somewhere. Somewhere that a whole squadron of people went and never came back from. Here we go. I love how Levitate makes stuff float around me.
My god. What are those stargates? Stars. That certainly looks like the same sky as the quarry. Yeah. Guess I should look for those rangers. Travel through the active gate to the island site. Squad Captain Lopez reporting on Expedition 17B. At the formation now, visually no distinction from the previous visit. The link detectors are still standing. One arch has a light flashing, so we're going to give the area once over. Then we'll head back. Lopez out. Link detectors? Causal link inactive. Causal link. I could get over there. But perhaps that's what the stargates are for. By that I meant I could get over there by levitating. But I think I'll wait to see whether I can get there with the Stargates. Yeah, you know, like over there I could easily get to. I wouldn't be able to get back, or eh, maybe I could. Is this thing? A flashing light. It must have gone that way. Calls a link active. So wait, is this thing on? It's not a teleporter. It just builds you a bridge to the place you want to go. You know, I could go fast by constantly zooming, evading, but it's kind of nice to just float serenely. There's a stillness and a quietness to this place. Rushing around feels wrong. That is a quest item.
What just happened? It's a horrible discordant noise that we heard when we first used the jukebox. For a second I thought the game crashed or something. <laughs> Guess the song ended. Good timing. Yeah. Speak with Arish. Fuck, if they're in there, we go around that way. There you are. Did you, uh, did you find those rangers at the formation? I found them. But it's not good news. The Hiss got there first. Lots of them. Oh, another dead team. Jesus. You know, I should have seen this coming. The formation, it's got like a, a pull to it. Things just end up there. I'm sure you saw all the junk from the Bureau lying around. There were a lot of Hiss, Arish. I mean, a lot. Did they get pulled in too? Hmm. Or they forced their way in. The formation is just a big question mark to us. But who knows? You might even find some useful stuff down there. All I know is, we cannot let the Hiss get comfortable. Sounds like you have a plan. Uh-huh. A simple one. You need to find more tokens and clear the Hiss the fuck out of the formation. That is simple. Oh, and I found a file on the formation while you were gone. You take a look for yourself if you want. A lot of the terms in there are way beyond me. <laughs> I don't like to overcomplicate these situations. When in doubt, fuck it. Shoot something, right? <laughs> Real helpful, Arish. I try. Got a couple tokens. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. I know. I know. They can be constructed at control points or earned through bureau alerts, board countermeasures, expeditions, and defeating elite enemies. Hmm. So... We, we are actually on a time limit, aren't we? Dang. Oh, that sucks. That means we actually have to go fast and can't just appreciate the sereneness. Alright, what's that file say? I wish it marked things as seen if you stayed around them and heard them or watched them in, like, in the environment. Like when you stay and listen to a whole tape. But it thinks you haven't seen it. Wait, jukebox. Did we not already read this? I guess not. Uh, it's to be kept in a secure location in the executive sector. The room must be sealed before usage to prevent unintentional transportation of staff. It's a classic 50s jukebox made by Songmaster Entertainment LTD. Jukebox was found with a single record inside titled A Song for the Others. When this record is played in the object, anyone with an earshot is translocated for as long as the album is playing. Those involved in the object's first known incident report being transported to a tropical beach. Exact location unknown. When this object is used in the oldest house, it only transport, transports users to an area located on the recently manifested quarry threshold. Researchers theorize that this site's unique spatial density results in all transitioning material gravitating to its position as has been observed with other bureau equipment. The oldest house's unique nature could also be having an effect on the object itself. This object is not bound to any known individual. Attempts by bureau staff to bind it have resulted in, and should not be attempted again. Okay, they said they gave me something about the threshold, or not the threshold, the formation. Yeah. The formation is a tall stone structure found in Quarry Site Beta, only reachable by placing distinct tokens into the jukebox object of power. The formation's exact purpose is, but we can at least examine its relationship with the surrounding it. Measuring devices found trace evidence of, at certain lines running from the formation to the, when examined properly, four direct ritual tethers were detected. Some form of sympathetic causality connects the formation with the... Which means, in theory, that when certain are performed at one, it will physically affect the other. 
I've been urged to note here that some individuals believe the formation responds to any fulfillment of purpose or desire in nearby individuals. Though I'd like to remind those individuals that we're the parakinesiology department, not the parafeelings department. I'm proud to report that my team was able to design, construct, and install a permanent detection system. These arches will help rangers identify when the causal tethers are active, allowing them to better... So that's the stargates, <laughs> as I thought they were, but they're not. So what I got from that is one affecting the other. I think that means basically complete the one that's already there and the others might become active. The other causal tethers. Oh. Whoa. This is a whole thing. Undertake expeditions in Quarrysite Beta to earn unique mods. Completing each of the four objectives will dismantle the formation to reveal the rewards waiting inside. That's weird. This is weird. Rewards expedition gear. Oh, is that an outfit? Um... Yeah, uh, grants rare rewards. This one grants prime rewards. This one grants absolute rewards. Well, let's see if we have the stuff to construct more tokens. How much do they cost? Oh, just pure... Pure, um... Source? That stuff's called Source. And yeah, you get a decent discount. If you do five, it costs 40,000 instead of 50,000. Let's get five. I want the best. That does mean I gotta move though. I can't be slow, I think. I don't know. See, I don't know if it's really actually on a time limit. Or if it's kind of just, if that's kind of window dressing and you just go until you finish, like, an objective or something. From the game's own website, it says every expedition lasts 25 minutes. So we have plenty of time, I think. Uh, hmm. I think maybe for my first time I can't do tier 3. Or even tier 2. Oops. Player energy recovery minus 50%. Huh. Okay. So that's like a... Temporary debuff when I'm in here? Uh, what's up with that? It constructed itself. Oh, they appear to all be active. Well, I want to go back to the one that we went to before. Or do I? Which one do I want to start with? I could go clockwise. Let's go clockwise. Let's start with this one. red light. <sighs> Cleanse the broadcast plates. Are they going to keep spawning till I do that? Is this one? Did I cleanse it? 
Oh, do I need to like stay here for a certain amount of time? Yeah, I do. Assuming it's higher up. God, this place looks so cool. Oh yeah, it even, I just realized it even tells you how long your expedition's gonna last up there. Investigate and clear the four island sites. Oh no, there's an invisible wall there. <laughs> Dang it. Let's investigate this place thoroughly. Although it does kind of feel like a place that might not have any notes or anything like that. But, let's check. <laughs> I think that's it. Isn't it? Can we get up there where the lights are? What is that sound? It seems to be coming from this thing. Ooh, we can get up here. Oh. Well, they're dead, I guess. Maybe? I still have combat music. Oh. Investigation order. The Songmaster Jukebox came to the Bureau's attention through a local radio piece regarding Tex Roadside Diner and the events that transpired there. Every diner reported being temporarily transported to an undetermined location that they later described as a sandy coastline. The Bureau took custody of the object the same day. The diners were told a gas leak was responsible for their imagined beach vacations. 
In an interview with the diner's owner, it was discovered that the albums in the object had been replaced the day before the event by a service responsible for the machine's upkeep who left only the single record inside. Agents attempted to track down Blessed Repair and Service, but could find no company by that name in the state. What the hell? Blessed Repair and Service has been added to the list of outstanding investigations. Any and all information on this business, its employees, or any known associates should be forwarded to Mr. in the investigation sector immediately. I don't think I can get higher up on this thing. There's nothing to launch from. Although, actually, let's try to go from the light. I think I might be hitting an invisible wall. Yeah, I am. Okay. I know what that sounds like. I couldn't think of the word before. It sounds like a metronome. Since I completed that one, this thing is now... Is it growing taller or did it partially come apart? I'm not sure. the lost specimen data. Hmm, I thought something was about to burst out of the ground or something. Well, let's go from the ground up. Sorry, I hit my own friend. Oh, fuck. Uh, I assume if you die, you just get kicked out of the whole thing? Oh, no, you don't. That's generous. Let's zoom back on over there. This time I will be faster.
Yeah, that negative 50% energy recovery speed really hurts. I just sidestepped that rocket. Oh, that was just one wave of hiss, so there's probably another one coming in just a second. Yep, I hear him. Health, 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 health. Let's get more health <laughs> for more spawn. Probably got some real good loot down here. So the other one had a kind of hard to reach place that had a note. I'm gonna assume this place is the same sort of thing. Secret place. I don't know, I don't really see where a secret place could be. Yeah, I really don't. I 
Actually, there might be some stuff over here around the periphery. Maybe up there where the pipes go? That also might just be another formation over there. I could just straight up float over there. Oh, I think there's a wall, isn't there? Yeah, okay. No, not meant to be here. Looks like I'm deconstructing that well thing. So I guess once I finish with all of these, it'll be open, whatever it is. Already been here, so I don't mind zooming around here. Cover the biometric logs from the dead rangers. Beeping sounds like a clue. Didn't have enough energy for that last one. Alright, they're just gonna keep coming unless I get this thing, so I just need it to be clear enough that I can get this thing. Just don't shoot any grenades up here, please.
All right, one more. Well. Um, fuck. Oh, I have my grenade launcher out. <laughs> I think I might have completed that one, though. Right? I think I did. Although, if there was any note over there, now I can't get it. Because if I did complete that quest, then the tether device thing won't work. Yep. Hope there was no notes over there. Oop. Last one. Probably not going to have time to finish this one. Ooh. Corrupted material. Oh, burn is in like pick it up and throw it in the furnace. Gotcha. Oops, that's not where I should have thrown that. chose to abandon the expedition because I didn't think there was a point in continuing when I only had a couple minutes left. Let's see if I can now do the higher tiers? No. I guess I gotta complete it a first time, maybe. Player charge damage minus 75%. Fuck you! Oh, that's mean! Did it detect that it's my favorite weapon? So it said, haha, fuck you! Uh, I guess I'll replace it with grip. Wait. You have to do all four island sites in one expedition? They're they're back? Jesus Christ. Okay. That's brutal. Right. Well, grippy. Right, we got the levitating ammo cost. Uh, probably have better mods now, right? Not really. Yeah, no, not really. Okay, well, so much for floating around gently, appreciating the stillness of the environment. Let's go. At least I have my charge back. Charge speed.
shit. Sorry, I hit my friend again. Hey, remember when I got the ability to charge into people using my shield and then totally forgot that I had it? can't recover energy yet. There we go. Still more to come.
Oh, wait, did I mess up my weapons? Wait, I don't remember. What's my minus? Is it charge or pierce? Because I think mentally I thought it was pierce, but was it charge? Um, I'm not sure how to tell. Uh, player charge damage. Minus 75%. Oh yeah, it is charge, not pierce. Oops. I don't know, pistol's not bad. I think I still prefer charge. Damn, that one took a long time. is much faster. Just one more. Shit. Hmm. <laughs> Do I want to bother fighting them? Probably not. I do want to look briefly for any notes that might be around here. Like, that up there looks rather suspicious. I 
Aw. Could that lead to somewhere? Ah, oh, no, there's a wall. I can't go any higher. I just realized it's named. That's why it's taking so long to kill. Shit. Oh, yes! Health! Sweet, sweet health! I get a token back. Nice. A level 3, a level 3, and a level 4. So, like, eh, it's okay. I wonder if that means I can now do a level, like a tier 2 expedition, and then tier 3? Probably have to complete them in order, I would imagine. Does it get harder? With the different tiers? Probably, right? It's already pretty hard. Yep, now I can do a tier 2. If I complete that, I can do a tier 3. Okay. Grants prime rewards. This grants absolute. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode for now, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to do a level 2 expedition. <laughs>